It's day 152 of 365 and I'm aimlessly wandering around Newport because Bev's back in York and I'm on my own. Gemma and Tom are still in bed. Chris and Carla haven't got up yet either and there's nothing else to do. This council land is just so disgusting. It hasn't changed. Just there's where my car got stolen. I came back to get my car one weekend and it was replaced by just a big pile of glass. I phoned the police obviously who said they had it recovered so that was a good thing but I went to see the yard where it had been recovered to and they wanted me to pay uh, £580 costs for recovering the car and storage for the time it had been there which I couldn't pay at the time because I was a student and I said it's going to be at least two weeks until I can pay and they were going to say they were going to put £20 charge every day on uh, the storage which was a bit unfair really. So needless to say in December of last year I lost a lot of faith in Newport Council and the police service because of that. Everywhere you go, everywhere it's like this. See that? That's on the uh, bridge that runs over Usk, George Street Bridge. Well a car smashed through that the other night and I bet you that's going to be there for months before it gets replaced. I'm not going to be living in Newport for the rest of my life, so why should I care? I'll be out here as soon as the degree show's done. But I still think it's not nice, and maybe the residents who will be living here should act together and speak to the council and do something about it. Wow, that was probably the dreariest start to any of my videos so far. I'll try and make it upbeat from here. I'll tell you what, I'm going to go into one of three second-hand shops I know about in Newport. This one, buy and sell. There's an underwater camera there for six pound. What a film. It can't just be me, I love these little shops. So much brick and brack and stuff, something's gotta be worth having. I'm gonna buy that waterproof camera, so I'm gonna have two now. Nice man. Anybody want to buy a multi-use underwater camera for 10 quid? There's another one, buy and sell shop, uh, Razzers. It's full of guns and music paraphernalia. Loads of camera and radio gear in here as well. Guns, 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 guns. I just said there was three of these shops, but come to think of it, I can think of six. There's another one, antiques and collectible times past. This pretty cool shop. The other day me and Bev looked at this teapot set. They want £85 for it. Very, very retro. Train sets. More this way. Newport is home of the brick and brack shop. There's another strange thing about Newport and that's Greg's the Bakers. I'm sure if you live in the UK, you've got one of these on your high street, but in Newport, they've got three of these on the same high street. Here is the first one, and then two more down in that direction. And of course, the king of pikey shops. They do tend to rip you off on camera gear though. I'd say this one was about 200 yards up from the last one. I wonder what that says about Newport. People can't be bothered to open up their own little baguette shops. Oh wow, John Frost Square has a car rally going on. Classic cars. I'm glad I've come out. South Wales Classic Car Club. Nice Jaguar of gold wheels. Probably got a tin of sweets in the front and a balloon in the back. That there, that right there, is sex on four wheels. <gasps> I want to live in a time when the police look like that. Wow, talk about luxury. <laughs> These are the days when you can rely on your car. Bev, I know you're up in York, but take note, I want one of these for my birthday. Wow, I could so see myself in that, travelling around the countryside. I just heard him say 54 miles to the gallon. 
Absolutely brilliant. It's got a mobile phone holder in it, in a Morris Minor. All it needs is a CD player and a sat-nav. Just for one second, imagine me pulling up at university in that. I'd easily be the coolest kid in school then. <laughs> Local entertainment. Festival of Classics. Ah, oh, never underestimate a little walk around Newport Town. If this is one of the first videos of mine you watch, well, I'm sorry, it's just me in it today. There's usually about 10 different people in the background wandering around talking on camera, but because everyone's away or doing stuff, I'm on my own today and having to make my own fun. If you want to see him, check out some of the older videos. There's Greg's number three. Hi, can I get a cheese and onion pasty, please? Greg's isn't the only shop to have a monopoly in Newport. So does Weatherspoons, you know, the pub chain, and because that's got three, and McDonald's has four in the centre of Newport. Unbelievable. I think that's enough. Time to head out of Newport now. I'll give the credit where it's due, though. It's got character. Just a little update that you might not be aware of because you might be a new subscriber. Me, Beverly, Gemma, Chris and Carla are all travelling around Europe from the 7th of July which is in oh, about 30 days-ish. So stay tuned for that because that's going to be fun. We're buying those interrail tickets which we've already all bought. We've got several places that we're going to go be visiting. The tickets last 22 days, so it should be great fun. We're going to try and go as far as Istanbul and travel around all the Central European countries to little known towns and famous events. Just to be fair, no compilation of second-hand brick and brick shops in Newport is complete without this one. If you haven't been there yet, it's just behind Asda and it's really worth checking out. That chap there runs it, he's a great guy. He's an unsung hero of Newport. I've had many videos in this place, so I'm sure you're already quite well acquainted with it. Just come down and check it out for yourself. There's something for everyone here. That's probably the sexiest camera I've ever seen. Also, if you want second-hand furniture, this is the place to come. But I don't, so I'm going back to Opal. This new hypermarket, Asda, is uh, the new hub of the community. Everyone goes here now. It's been open less than a year and it's just over the road from Opal. I like it because they do vegetarian pizzas for 75p. Bargain. There's Opal One. And here it ends my little tour of Newport and its shops. Hi Tom. Hi. Look at the parcel that's arrived for me at Opal. Can you guess what it is? Oh, look at that. It's a brand new poker table with cup holders. That is a pretty delicious eBay bargain. Eight cup holders, a nice sized table. We get 10 people around that. The cloth looks really nice and it cost me 40 quid. Je suis Captain eBay bargain. Apart from that 20p that I paid £53 for, but let's forget about that. Hello. I just found an Uber pair of sunglasses on the floor. Yeah. yeah. No sooner than we're arriving back at Opal, we've got to go back out again because Chris and Carla are going to be moving into the house with us in July. Let's go see the PMW. Chris is an eccentric, isotropic type of male. He told me a few months ago that he'd drawn this painting and I was inquisitive and I wanted to know what this painting was about. But he told me he'd hidden it, he'd buried it and left it somewhere. But now, we're going to find this painting and he's going to show me where it is. He hasn't told us what's on the painting, he just told us he hid it. Oh, here's his painting. Chris, that is beautiful. <laughs> what, what is it? It's... <laughs> Stunning. Did you get a first for that? Aren't you jealous I've got someone like Chris in my life and you haven't? 